Okay, now we're ready for the lower die to center, and it's called that because if you look at the assembly for it, there are two separate lower dies. We're looking at just number two. Why they start with two instead of one, I don't know. But they are so showing you a half section view, so a quarter of the part's been removed, and it's trying to tell you this would be something nice to make half the part and revolve it. So let's do that. Let's go to Inventor, create a 2D sketch, and then to make this I see little rectangle, skinny rectangle, big rectangle. Alright, let's start off with a big rectangle. Skinny rectangle, little rectangle. Trim off the bits you don't need. And let's add some dimensions. It says this is 1.1 uh, 1.3125. I don't like that moved past my origin, so I'm going to go back to my coincident constraint, constrain that to this point, and it didn't like that either, so I'm going to just delete this line altogether, and shift it over, and draw a new line back in. Okay. Um, Point one eight seven five. Point three one two five. Oop, that's not going to work. Between these two, point three one two five. From here to here, we already have, and then we just need the diameters. So. 2.125 from here to here but it should be half of that because we have the radius not the diameter for this side one point five six two five again divided by two And going down to this inside part is 0.25 from this line to this line. Okay, that should be everything. Let's revolve this around our axis. Make a new sketch here. Finish it immediately. We're going to be using this point to make a hole. This hole is countersunk. Same shape here. Major diameter, 0.375. It's already there. 82 degrees, and that's a quarter 20 UNC with a depth of one inch. So it's not through all. It has a depth of one inch. It's a tapped hole and it's 0.25 if you had to pick it from a drop down or quarter 20 UNC. Select OK and it has a 0 0.03 chamfer on the back edge and a 0 0.03 chamfer on this inside part here. So actually I'm going to go back make them both part of the same chamfer. So if I had to modify anything I'd just modify this one feature and around the outside edge it's been treated so that you don't cut yourself with a 0 0.031 fillet. And 
that should be all of our dimensions. Lower die 2 center is here. It's made out of steel. So right click on your part. I have properties, physical, material, steel. Select OK. Save. And again, we're calling this lower die to center.